Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing a rainbow trout. Yeah, a realistic one, right? Mm hmm Yeah, so we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. You got something to draw with and a piece of paper. You ready to start? Yeah. <laughs> That's, you're not going to be able to draw that way. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with our paper horizontal because the fish is really long. We're going to draw a side view of him. And we're going to start over here and we're going to start, we're going to use up probably most of the paper. So we're, we're going to put a point right here in the middle. And this is where we're going to put his, his top fin. Okay. And so that's going to be right in the middle of the paper. Here. Yeah, and I drew it a little higher, but that's okay. Right there? Yeah, that's a good spot. And then we're going to draw a curved line that goes from here to that line. Okay, so we're going to draw a curve. Ooh, let's curve it. We need to curve it. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was going to draw a straight line. <laughs> so I drew a little hook at the end for his nose. Good, oh. yeah. You can keep going and just bring that point up here. That's okay. No mistakes, right? Yeah. Yeah, so keep going. Good job. Now we're going to draw the top fin. So we're going to draw a curve that comes out. Good. And then we're going to draw a curve that comes back. And I'm going to bring that down a little bit more. little S curve. And you're drawing a little teeny one, and that's cool. I like it. Okay, now we're going to take this line, and we're going to finish it. So we're going to keep coming back with this line. Back like this. And we got to stop so that we can do his tail. Good. So we want to bring that maybe a little further, maybe in there. Good. Awesome. Okay, now let's bring this tail back into his body. Sweet. Okay, now let's draw the little texture lines that are on that fin. And I'm going to fan them down. Okay, now they have a, another little uh, fin down here at the back of their body. So we'll just draw a little curve and then a line back. And we can draw some other lines in there for that fin. Good job, man. Okay, now let's come back here and let's do his mouth. So we're going to draw a line that comes down. He's going to have his mouth open. <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to draw another line that comes back up to that point where we started. His oh, nose where mouth. we started. Yeah, it's a little one. I like it. Okay, now we're going to draw a big curve that's going to come back here. So we're going to imagine it coming back, back to here, and we're going to end... And let's see, right about here, okay? So I'm going to turn it this way so it's a little easier. We're going to keep his mouth or his jaw really small like this and then back. Good. All right, okay, now let's finish his body shape and then we'll draw the rest of his fins. So we're going to draw a line that comes up closer to the back of his so his tail, yep, I like it, man. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to curve back up for his tail. Good, and you can come all the way closer to the edge of the paper. Ooh, I like it, man. All right, and then we're going to draw another line down here for the other side of his tail. Good. That is a big tail, man. I like it. <laughs> He's going to swim yeah. fast. Right? I uh, like it. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to draw, we're going to connect these two lines and we can kind of do it with a, a wobbly uh, line that looks like a fishtail. Yes. Good job. <laughs> okay. Now let's draw some more texture on the back of his tail and we're going to fan out the texture. So we could have a line right in the middle that's straight like this. And then everything fans to that line. And if we're going too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yes, you guys can always pause the video. Nice. Good. Okay, now he has a back fin right here that comes out. So let's draw another curve. It comes out 
kind of where we curved up, yes. And then we're gonna curve back up. Good, and then back into the body. <laughs> now we can draw some more texture, thin texture, and fan it out. Nice, now he's got, they've got two fins down here, right below this top fin. So draw another curve out and a curve back up that could may, maybe be a little longer curve back up good and then a little line into his body good now let's draw the second fin that's behind that one so it looks 3d good and then a line back up connect into the fin and we can draw that those texture lines nice all right okay now let's finish drawing his face so they have uh lips fish lips right yeah so let's draw a line that's we're gonna curve this right here at the end of his mouth curve it back up good and then that's where we're gonna connect his fish lips into come off his nose and connect into that line good then we're gonna draw another fish lip down here <laughs> and connect that in awesome hey now let's draw his eye so draw a circle right here above his mouth and we can draw another circle inside and kind of color it in Good. Let's scoot it over so our art friends can see it. There we go. It's looking awesome, chuckers. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his gills. So he has a couple lines back here. So we're going to draw one that curves here and into his mouth. Okay. Then we'll draw another one right behind that one. And then this last one, we're going to start up here a little higher and draw it big and then come down to the bottom of his body and then we can connect here in like that good job man he looks super awesome but he doesn't look like a rainbow trout yet mm -hmm. and how come because we need to color him. yes we need to color him so let's pick out our colors we're gonna use colored pencils and we'll come back okay okay all right, checkers, we got a lot of colors we're gonna use. We're gonna use three greens. So we have a light green, a medium green, and a dark green. We're using Prismacolor colored pencils, but if our art friends don't have these, they can use any colored pencils or crayons, and they could just try and match the same colors we're using. So this light green is called Lime, Lime Peel, green. and then our medium one is called Olive Green, and then our dark green is called Dark, dark green. green. And then we got a black, and we also have a pink that we're gonna use to make them look like a rainbow trout, right? All right, so let's, the first step, let's make, let's make them look like a rainbow trout. So we're gonna use our pink, and we're gonna use this all the way down the middle of his body, okay? So we're gonna put uh, some nice long strokes all the way down, and we can do it really light if we want, and kind of dark towards the middle. And I'm going all the way over his gills, too. All right, good, we're finished with the pink, at least for now. Let's get our black, and we, rainbow trout have these cool spots all through their body, and so we're gonna do little spots with our black, and you can just do a back and forth like this, and then change what direction you're doing the back and forth, and then those spots will look more natural. Let's speed this part up. Good job, checkers. That was a lot of dots, huh? Yeah. Yeah, are your hands sore? Yeah. You can stretch them out. Okay, you know what I forgot? Let's get our markers. We forgot. He has fin on the side of his body right next to his gills. So we're going to draw. <laughs> we totally left off part of his body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to draw a curve that goes up. Then we're going to draw a curve that comes down. And then you can continue that into his body or back close to this other one. 
And then let's draw those textures again. You can fan out from the left side like that. Now he looks like a fish. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay, we're done with the dots. We're done with this fin. Let's let's switch to our green sound, okay? We're okay. gonna start with our light green and we're gonna put a base coat or a really light coat down on the bottom, okay? okay. So we're gonna go down the side of his body and we can even go into that pink a little. So we're gonna go all the way back to his tail, back here, and we're gonna leave his belly white. So as you get towards his belly, you can fade out. So there's just a really light layer of green. Good, okay, now let's come back up here and we're gonna draw, we're gonna use the, the light green again and we're gonna do a layer on top of his pink stripe. Okay, now let's come down here and we're gonna uh, shade in his fin. So we'll do this bottom fin back here. And then we'll also do these fins. We're gonna do all of them actually. Okay, now let's get our medium green and we're gonna put another layer on top. So above the, the pink stripe, but I'm not gonna color in the whole part that we, that we did the layer of um, light green below it. We're just gonna do a smaller layer right through the top of his back. Good. Okay, now let's come up here and on his fin, we're going to do a layer right next to his body. So it looks darker when it gets, when the fin comes closer to his body and then fades out towards the top. And we're going to do that on all of the fins. So put another layer right next to his body. And then on his back fin, on his tail, we're going to do all the way down and fade all the way down his tail and into the edge of the, the, out, the, the right side of his tail. Now with our last color, so the really dark green, we're gonna do a, a very small layer. So a little strip of dark green that goes right through his back, all the way back to his tail. And this is gonna make him look really shiny. I also left a little white highlight on the top and that's okay that you colored yours in all the way good job checkers now we're going to use this to do some more shading and we can come behind his gills and just do a light layer right behind each of the gills so that they look more 3d like they're sticking out and he's breathing then i'm going to put some light lines right under here I like the gill or like the uh, lines on our fins, so he looks like he has gills sticking out. Now I'm gonna come back in here and add a little bit more shadow on each of the fins. Now the last step is we're gonna take our pink and we're gonna go back over and darken in that stripe that goes down his belly or down his side. Dude, your rainbow trout looks super amazing. Give me five. Did you have fun? Yeah. He looks very realistic and very, very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your rainbow trouts with us. Remember, it's okay if your fish look a little different than ours because the most important thing is to have fun. Yeah, to have fun. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Friends. Oh. <laughs> Are you a fish? <laughs> yeah.